What is Gaza Strip? The Gaza Strip, the 140 square mile stretch of land located along the Mediterranean coast between Egypt and Israel, has endured decades of protest, military operations, and violence as Israel and the Palestinian Authority have both asserted the right to control the area. It is separated by Israeli territory from Jerusalem, which holds deep religious and cultural significance for both Arabs and Jews, with both Israel and Palestinians claiming Jerusalem as a capital city. Israel is at war with the Palestinian militant group Hamas, and hundreds of civilians have been killed since the group's surprise attack signaled a major escalation between the two sides and engulfed the region in chaos. As images and videos of the devastation come out of Israel, many people are also watching the violence unfolding in the Gaza Strip, one of the world's most densely populated and impoverished territories. Bordered by Israel and Egypt on the Mediterranean coast, the Strip is about 365 square kilometers, about the size of Cape Town, Detroit, or Lucknow. Gaza was part of historic Palestine before the State of Israel was created in 1948 in a violent process of ethnic cleansing, expelling hundreds of thousands of Palestinians from their homes. It was captured by Egypt during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War and remained under Egyptian control until 1967, when Israel seized the remaining Palestinian territories in a war with the neighboring Arab countries. Gaza is but one of the focal points in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Although it is part of the Israeli-occupied territories, the Gaza Strip was severed from the West Bank and East Jerusalem when Israel was created. A range of Israeli restrictions has since been created that further compartmentalizes the Palestinian territories. Movement of people in and out of the Gaza Strip takes place through the Beit Hanoun, known to Israelis as Erez, crossing with Israel and the Rafah crossing with Egypt. Both Israel and Egypt have kept their borders largely shut, and are responsible for further deteriorating the already weakened economic and humanitarian situation. Israel allows passage through the Beit Hanoun crossing only in exceptional humanitarian cases, with an emphasis on urgent medical cases. The number of exiting Palestinians via the crossing during the 2010-2019 decade stood at 287 people on average a day, according to the UN. Since May 2018, the Egyptian-controlled Rafah crossing has opened on an irregular basis, recording a daily average of 213 exits in 2019. But Israel has restricted the movement of Palestinians in and out of Gaza for much longer than the past 15 years. Starting in the late 1980s with the eruption of the first Palestinian uprising, or Intifada, Israel began to impose restrictions by introducing a permit system that required Palestinians in Gaza to get difficult to obtain permits to work or travel through Israel or access the occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem. Since 1993 in particular, Israel has used closure tactics on the Palestinian territories on a regular basis, at times barring any and all Palestinians in certain areas from leaving, sometimes for months at a time. In 1995, Israel built an electronic fence and concrete wall around the Gaza Strip, facilitating a collapse in interactions between the split Palestinian territories. A video showing a Palestinian bulldozer tearing down a section of the fence on Saturday was widely shared on X, formerly known as Twitter. In 2000, when the Second Intifada erupted, Israel cancelled many of the existing travel and work permits in Gaza, and significantly reduced the number of new permits issued. Israel's blockade has cut off Palestinians from their main urban center, Jerusalem, which hosts specialized hospitals, foreign consulates, banks, and other vital services, even though the terms of the 1993 Oslo Accord stated that Israel must treat the Palestinian territories as one political entity, not to be divided. By blocking travel to East Jerusalem, Israel is also cutting off Christian and Muslim Palestinians in Gaza from accessing their centers of religious life. Families have been split, youth have been denied the opportunity to study and work outside of Gaza, and many have been denied their right to obtain necessary health care. Over the years, Israeli missile attacks and ground incursions have also damaged Gaza's pipelines and sewage treatment infrastructure. As a result, sewage often seeps into drinking water, which has resulted in a sharp increase in waterborne disease. More than 95% of Gaza's water has been rendered unsafe for drinking, according to the UN. Plans to improve Gaza's water quality have been thwarted by the ongoing power crisis. Water projects are among the largest consumers of electricity. Without enough power to maintain existing water and sanitation systems, it is impossible to build new ones. Many homes in Gaza rely on electric pumps to push water to the top of the building. No electricity for them means no water. Power cuts have had a devastating effect on Gaza students. At home, they are forced to study by gas lamp or candlelight. 
This hinders their ability to concentrate and learn. Generators can power lights, but are loud and often lack enough fuel to power them. At school, blackouts mean food rots, latrines are left dirty, and there is no clean water for washing hands. On Tuesday, Israel's energy minister Israel Katz ordered to cut electricity supply to Gaza, which largely relies on Israel for its power. Point one of the most vulnerable groups affected by the siege is those with chronic illnesses. In 2016, Israel approved fewer than 50% of requests to exit the Gaza Strip through the Beit Hanoun crossing for medical treatment abroad. Israel's blockade has set the stage for a profound humanitarian catastrophe. Already in 2015 the UN warned that conditions were deteriorating at such a rapid pace that Gaza could be uninhabitable by the year 2020. Hamas rule. Founded in 1987, Hamas emerged during the first intifada that saw a popular mobilization of Palestinians against the Israeli occupation. On January 25, 2006, Hamas defeated Mahmoud Abbas' long-dominant Fatah party in parliamentary elections. Hamas then kicked Fatah out of the strip after the latter refused to recognize the vote's results. Since 2007, Hamas and Fatah have ruled the Gaza Strip and the West Bank respectively. Fatah, the ruling party in the West Bank, is led by President of the Palestinian Authority Mahmoud Abbas, who was elected in 2005. Hamas defines itself as a Palestinian Islamic National Liberation and Resistance Movement, aiming to liberate Palestine and confront the Zionist project. Advertisement